wall here, which goes yeah. up through Natalie's bedroom, up to the loft. This is the wall at the front of the house. And here we have a uh, chimney, which is currently up against this wall in here, sat on top of there, holding itself up. Yep. Very nice. And what we propose to do is to move the bottom of the chimney, which means that nothing for this chimney to hold on to. The architect has suggested putting a beam in across the two walls like this, and then the chimney sits on top of the beams, and the wall holds it up. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this wall here doesn't go up into the loft space. This wall is actually more like this wall. So the problem that we have is if this wall is like this, it's lower down here, beam obviously doesn't work because it's an angle like this. If we lower the beam down and bury it into this wall, this beam is in our bedroom, which is rather unpleasant. If we build this wall up, then the beam sticks out the roof uh, into the middle of the road. So that doesn't work. So the, go back to the original thought of the gallows bracket, which would be a lovely idea. So the gallows bracket, I'll turn this around so you can, you can see better. It doesn't use the front wall at all. We just use the side wall. And the, we have a bracket that sits on the chimney here, which we don't really have a bracket, but we can use a hammer to represent the bracket for the time being. And then we stand the chimney on there, which in theory works. But you can see it's less stable. It's trying to pull the wall over. And this is what building a drill are concerned about, is that it's going to make the wall topple over. So we have another thought. So we've got, go back to this, this is the, the spine wall. And this wall this time, this is the wall with next door, what we call the party wall. And the <laughs> chimney is obviously, it's sat in this, this gap here. So what we're talking about doing now is possibly having a beam at 45 degrees across the two walls like that. And then the chimney stands on top of there. And as you can see, it's not quite as stable as going across the other two, but it's much more stable than than having a gallows bracket. So we're wondering if building patrol might like that. This is why we need our friendly structural engineer, Matt, to pop round uh, for a cup of tea and a mince pie. 